Hello everybody, how y'all doing today? Today I will be teaching you how to make a nice Sunday game type of dish. It is called Nachos Libre, which is basically just seven layer nachos. So what you will need is a pound of ground beef, two cans of refried beans, Velveeta cheese, and chips. Now you can add you can add salad, uh, pico de gallo, sour cream, and guacamole. I'm not going to have that today, so we will start by finding a pot. Go ahead and um, start grounding your meat, and I'll show you guys how to do a healthier alternative. In case you guys don't want a lot of, in case you guys don't want a lot of grease, okay? Grab your pot. See, I'm actually using more of a pot than I am a frying pan, so that way it doesn't pop on you. I had, uh, I was making a detox soup, This is, and it was just popping all over the place. I had the fire to hot, plus I was using um, olive oil to do all my grease. So, once you get your stuff nice and ground, your ground beef. I will show you guys how to um, what to do next and how to make this a little bit more healthier. One other thing is you're gonna want some seasoning. This is the bomb when it comes to any kind of taco seasoning. It's got Fiesta brand extra fancy se taco seasoning. Now, I am not a paid sponsor of this stuff or HEB or whatnot. I don't get paid. All I'm saying is this is what I use. So. Yeah, so you gotta sprinkle a lot on. And you have to do this like every once in a while to get that real good flavor. Don't drown it, but you know, I, mean, I like a lot of taco seasoning and stuff. Okay now, since, uh, so for those who wanna make this a little bit more healthier, not have a bunch of grease, what you're going to need is a colander and a pan so that we don't get grease into your um, into, into the sink. Take your pole, pole and just empty it. Make sure you get everything. Now, this is the cool part. See all that? That's how the that's how the texture should be whenever you make this. Now lift up. Look at all that fat. That is nothing but grease fat. Let's let sit there and drain. That's how you make this stuff very healthy. Now I'm going to show you guys a little trick. A little trick, okay? Take your refried beans. Okay, this is a good life hack. You're gonna op actually open the bottom. You're gonna now this doesn't work all the time, but what it does is that it releases pressure. Okay, we got that top. Now open it on the top like normal. Now don't do this if you're opening up a can of beans, by the way. You'll have juice all over the place. So, see this now. Now that we have our ground beef in the um, pot, let's just look at that. Look at how that just opens like that. It's a pretty cool little trick that I learned on, on another website. So we have two of those. Kind of that. Now, we're going to take it and I'll show you guys the Velveeta. The cheesy part of this this one. No pun intended. Okay, 
Now to make things cheesy, you're gonna want to grab some milk, some easy milk. A lot of, a lot of people might ask me why I always chase the HEV. Well, it's the price. No, no. At half. Half should be enough. I'm going to cut right about here. Ah, there we go. The other one up for later. Put it in this little compartment. Back in the fridge. Cube it. Now, the thing about cubing out cheese is that it has to be just like the other cubes, about the same size, so that, that way it melts evenly. I've made so many mistakes by doing that, like making un uneven cubes. So, there's a little trick into doing this. Go ahead, cut. Like that. Like that. Like that. Yeah, I guess. It's about as even as it's going to get. Cut down. Try to cut it in fours. The cubing. If you can. Put it into your melting bowl that you're going to use for the, for the melting. Like that. Like that. And cut as evenly as possible. Now, add a little bit of milk. Right, just, little, just enough. Don't need a lot. Until much later, when if you need to. Now, you're gonna wanna put it in your microwave. Eight minutes. Okay, so that's how you make nachos libre. This texture right here is perfect. Not too thick, not too thin. Now, how I used to do nachos libre is I would put all the chips on a pizza pan, pour everything on it, throw it in the oven for about 350 degrees. You can do this, but I don't n normally like doing it because I've had top. There's been times where I, I pull it out and meat goes on to the burners. I don't do that anymore. But you can. It's all up to you. Hey, I'm not responsible if you sit your house ablaze. So, when you get the texture, your texture is supposed to look like this for your refried beans and your meat. It's kind of like how Taco Bell does their stuff. Um, I also, I don't, I'm not sponsored by Taco Bell either. So that's how you make nachos libre. You add your Pick up the gallo, your guacamole, your sour cream, and you just have a good Sunday NFL watching friends. This is how you can make them happy. So I hope you guys have a good time. The ingredients and stuff is in the direct is in the description. I'll see you guys next Sunday for a more healthier alternative. I will be showing you guys next week how to do a uh, food meal prep. So that way you guys don't got to go to McDonald's every day. You guys can do it all on a Sunday when you have time or whatever day that you guys have time to do a meal prep. Every Sunday I will be having a cook with Mike. <coughs> Sorry, a little sick from the cough, from the cold. So, have a fun day, have a good work week, have a good week. And we will see you next Sunday.